Welcome to Darren Daily On Demand, your most trusted resource to help you become better every day. Here's your success mentor, Darren Hardy. Don't sin against your talent, said entertainment legend Tony Bennett in the reflection of Amy Winehouse's death by alcohol poisoning back in 2011. Amy was the first British female to win five Grammys, and BBC called her the preeminent vocal talent of her generation. She self-destructed at only age 27. What a shameful waste. Think of the other legendary sinners, Elvis Presley, Prince, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Heath Ledger, Michael Jackson, Chris Farley, Michael Vick, Whitney Houston, Kurt Cobain, Mark McGuire, Lance Armstrong, Jim Morrison, Truman Capote, John Belushi, Jimi Hendrix, and so, so, so many more. Not only is it injuring your your talent a sin, so is not using it and expanding it. Ancient scripture explains through the parable of the talents. According to the story, one day, the head of the household gathered his three servants together and announced that he would soon be going away on a long journey. Before leaving, he gave each of his servants a certain number of talents. And in those days, a talent was worth several years wages to the average laborer. So each talent represented a substantial sum of money. To one servant, he gave five talents. To another, he gave two. And to the third, he gave one talent. He cautioned the servants to look after these talents in his absence, and then he left. While the man was gone, the servant with the five talents took them to the marketplace and traded them until he had converted the five into 10. The second servant did the same, trading his two into four. However, the third servant, being a very cautious man, took the one talent that he had been given and buried it in the ground for safekeeping. After a time, the man returned and gathered his three servants together to inquire about what they had done with the talents he had given them. The first servant explained how he had wisely traded the five talents that he had been given and presented the man with the original five plus the five that he had earned. The man said to the servant, well done. The second servant came forward and said that he had also traded wisely and presented the man with the original two talents that he had been given plus two more. Again, the man said, well done. Finally, the third servant stepped forward and told his story. Fearing that I might lose your money, I carefully buried it in the ground. He then proudly presented the man with the one talent that he had been given to look after. The master took a look at the single unused talent and said, take the talent from him and give it to the one who now has 10. There are several lessons to this parable. One, we are all given a talent, all of us. Number two, it doesn't matter what life gives you or how many talents that you start with. We all have the same responsibility to multiply what we were given. And three, if you don't use your talent and you bury it instead, what you have will be taken away from you and given to those who prove to be more productive. Life is not designed to give rewards in proportion to our level of need. It gives rewards in proportion to our level of deserve. You see, lots of people don't like the way that this parable ends. They think it doesn't seem fair to take the little that the third servant had and give it to the servant who had 10. In fact, these days, many people actually want the government to force the opposite, to take from those who used and multiplied their talents and then just give their surplus to those who buried theirs. But Jesus is pretty clear on this point. Quote, for to everyone who has multiplied his talents will more be given and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not multiplied his talents, even what he has will be taken away. And I remind you here, I'm quoting, and cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Whoa, I think that's pretty clear. JC ain't fooling around here. So you have been given a gift of talents. As Tony Bennett said, do not sin against your talents. So take your Darren Daily Journal. Where are you maybe sinning? against the great talents that you've been given. What are you gonna do to further multiply your talents as is your responsibility?